Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. It has been a long time <laughs> since I've uploaded a video on my channel. I'm just gonna call it out. I'm just going to, you know, address the elephant in the room. I wish that I had a really solid, clear reason as to what I've been going through to kind of warrant such inconsistent postings here on YouTube, but probably even more specifically on my blog and my Instagram, both of which I posted on so consistently ever since I started them. Like I started my Instagram in 20, well I started posting like, you know, my, my love for like styling and you know, finding good deals and things like that back in 2012. And I started my blog subsequently from that in 2013. And ever since then, I have been super consistent. Of course, there have been, you know, a few times where like I'll go, you know, a bit of time without posting, but never like long, long chunks of time. Like um, I have over the last year, I have been so inconsistent, but this has been going on ever since having Louis where I just feel like I'm not myself. Sometimes I can kind of show up as myself and you've kind of seen that here and there in the videos that I've shared um, on here and if you follow me on Instagram and stuff, um, you know, you see me sometimes, um, but it's there's been a slow and steady decline and it's almost like non-existent right now. And I think that extreme dip that I've gone through over the past few months, maybe the last like six months, I've really started to worry about myself. But I think for a while I was like, well, maybe it's because I'm not meant to do this anymore. Like maybe that's why my drive and motivation isn't there. So I've been exploring other things and thinking that maybe that was why I'm supposed to be here. Like I'm all in my head about like, well, maybe that was why I was drawn to London because you know, and why my business hasn't done that well, you know, because I'm not supposed to do that here. So I'm like exploring, you know, other topics and other things that maybe I could make a business out of. But at the end of the day, I'm also like really sad because I'm not sharing what I love to share day to day. I feel very stifled and, and almost like the light that I've shared for so many years, like can't come out. And that's, awful you know I think I've needed to kind of explore all these other things in order to kind of get to this point where I'm like this isn't normal and I but I think something that also has tripped me up is when I've been sharing that I want to get back to how I was before like where I could share and um, operate like I did back in the day and people are very well-meaning when they say this but they're like well you know you become a whole new version of yourself when you have a child. Almost insinuating that like you're never going to go back to the way that you were before, which yes, I, you know, in some degree I do agree with that and, and see what they're trying to say, but also I don't feel like you completely lose your light and yourself. That should not happen. And if it does, you should really see somebody. And I feel like I've had to kind of, kind of go through all of this to finally get to that point where I'm like, I need to see somebody about these things because this is not what I should be feeling. Um, so I'm sharing all of this, not to put a huge damper on the, the vlog from the get go. I hope that this is like a, a fun one to watch, but more so to just like raise awareness for anyone who might be um, potentially feeling the same way. Like if you've just had a baby and you're feeling a little bit lost or, like you can't find the ground beneath your feet, um, definitely see somebody about it. I'm seeing somebody tomorrow in London actually, and I am so looking forward to just finally sharing all of these feelings and seeing what she says. I'm such an emotional person that it's so hard for me to have been feeling all of these things, but be completely unable to just like compartmentalize it and also show up the way that I normally do. I. <laughs> I know that the way I'm wired is is a gift, so I shouldn't envy people that can do that, but in this season, I really have because I feel like I have just let so many days just go by the wayside, almost wasted, and I hate even thinking that. Um, but at the end of the day, I have finally decided to get myself, um, I think, the 
help that I might need and I'm really really hopeful that I can have some answers after my appointment tomorrow. So anyway, that is kind of an explanation as to why I haven't really been showing up um, and I think that's also what's been tripping me up as well is that sometimes I feel great and sometimes I can show up the way that I, I usually do and then I'll go back into you know another bout of like not feeling like myself so it just feels a little bit all over the place like I'm coming out of it and then I don't so anyways let's move on I um, hope that wasn't too big of a downer but I I've always kind of been an open book and share um, share how I'm feeling I'm an emotional person and I'm always kind of led by my emotions and so it's impossible for me to hide those so thank you for letting me share um, today I wanted to um, kind of take you on the journey of what I do about twice a year um, since living in the UK and that is switching over my wardrobe from winter fall winter to spring summer um, I have been needing to do this for about a month mm, maybe a couple of weeks now but um, I just haven't gotten around to it so I have a few Ikea bags oh hello right in front of me I have a few of these bags from Ikea um, they are really incredible I can't even back up <laughs> far enough for you to see how big they are so I use these bags for a few different reasons one <laughs> they're really great when I have a very large box of things that did not fit me that need to be returned um, I just stick them in this large and in charge bag and I can easily walk to the post office I walk everywhere so I'm always looking for ways to make my life a little bit easier when I have something to lug into town um, but also right before I do like a wardrobe switchover I always pull out things that I didn't wear a ton over the course of the last like six to eight months or that I haven't worn in the last few years. I try to be pretty brutal and honest with myself and let go of truly what would be probably better suited in somebody else's wardrobe because I just haven't had a chance to wear it as much as I thought I would. Um, I realize that I shop more than the average person with what I do for a living. I try my best to be as responsible and intentional about my purchases. Um, as I can I I'm never gonna be somebody that does like a haul after haul after haul every single day uh, or in every single video um, that's something that's really important to me um, just as it has always been important to me to um, ensure that the things that I'm letting go of um, end up in another person's hands so I love this company reliked for that reason because they list everything that I hand over to them on a profile and then um, other people can shop the gently used items super, super easily. So I'll leave my profile link down below. It is based in the UK, um, but I do think that they do international shipping if you do happen to be in the US, which I'm sure most of you are, but um, I know that, that can be a bit of a bummer, but um, at the end of the day, I'm just wanting to do what I feel the most um, right about and I'm honestly just really thankful for Reliked because I used to have my assistant list and manage the postage and sending out of product so the fact that Reliked does all of that for me and they donate a portion of the proceeds to charity is just honestly amazing so check it out if you are interested all right enough rambling I need to get started because very very soon John will be off to go get Louie and I'll need to take over. We usually split um, bedtime and bath and all of that, but tonight John has an appointment out. So I am gonna be doing dinner, bath, and bedtime. And then after that, I'm probably gonna come back in here and get started. So if, if the hyperlapses keep going, but it gets darker and like lamps are on and stuff, that's why. Um, but yeah, let's get started.
wild hair I've got going on. So after I put Louie down, as you've seen, thanks to the hyperlapse, I've gotten um, quite a few bags bagged up. I have three total and they're all quite heavy. Um, I cleaned out some of the like wicker baskets that I have storing different things like my shoes. A lot of times I'll put like my winter boots in there when I have my spring and summer stuff out and then I just pulled out all of my like spring and summer sandals and my wedges and different like flats and things that I love. So I'm gonna um, kind of finish up for the night. I need to put all of the coats and the sweater dresses that I pulled out of the closet um, over into the next bedroom just for now. I need to pull in the suitcases with all of my um, spring and summer dresses and get those hung up and put in there probably tomorrow afternoon after I get back from my appointment. And then um, I, I really wanna go through all of my like pajamas and different things that I have in these chest, chest of drawers, like my beauty products as well, but I'm probably not gonna do that before our trip. So I'll kind of just share what I get up to tomorrow in terms of getting um, things unpacked. I don't even know that I'll get around to getting all of my shorts unpacked before I leave. I at least just wanna get my dresses out um, because I wanna pull a couple. <laughs> For our trip but anyways I'm going to finish up for the evening by going through this bottom drawer of boots so that I can finish going through my shoes I will um, bid you good night until tomorrow hi guys good morning <laughs> it has been quite the morning it's like 8 45 and I'm just starting to kind of get myself ready for the day. I just dropped off Louie at nursery. I'm supposed to really be going into London right now, but I didn't share this yesterday um, just because I was kind of just trying to still assess the situation. But yesterday Chips was just acting really weird. He like yelped a couple of times when he and Fish were playing and he seemed to be really freaked out by Fish and Fish is like, the most harmless dog you could ever come across. So I thought it was it was weird how he was acting towards fish. He was like shaking when I went to go see what was going on. I eventually realized that it was Chips that um, that had yelped. I, I couldn't figure out the reason why. I brought him upstairs with me. I was like letting him like like lay on the bed, just kind of chill, be away from fish. And I kept trying to like figure out like where his pain was or like where it was that like maybe fish accidentally like nudged or fish is the one that always kind of instigates the like rough housing and the, the weenie rustles and stuff. Um, so I thought maybe like while they were playing, like fish like bumped up against something that like was bothering chips or something. Anyway, last night we were cuddling with chips and he was a bit, you could tell he just wasn't himself. Anyway, so when he was cuddling with me, I, I wasn't even thinking because this is something that I do all the time, but I I was just kind of like stroking his little face and I eventually got to his chin. I love his little beard, so often I'll like pet his little beard back and like stroke just underneath his little jaw. And when I did that, he yelped so loud, jumped off the couch, wanted to be nowhere near me and for the rest of the night. Um, so we are taking him to the vet today, um, but this morning, it was just like a crazy morning. I'm trying to give like Chips love and then Louie's like, he's just so in his big feelings right now. And so everything that we were doing for Louie this morning was just not the right thing. <laughs> I'm supposed to be on my way to London right now for my appointment um, with that doctor. Um, but I emailed her last night to see if she could um, facilitate a request to have the appointment on Zoom. So anyway, I'm waiting to hear back from her assistant um, now. And it, like I said, it's about 8.45. So I am, I'm just in this like really <laughs> kind of just cozy and probably very unflattering um, sweatsuit that I got on one of my trips back to the States um, from Target. And I've been needing slash wanting, more so wanting, <laughs> to um, do some self tanner before we head to Italy. Um, we leave on Thursday, which is another reason why I'm like, is this seriously happening again? Because Fish, um, right before we were on our way to take him and Chips to our dog sitter um, for our trip to Florida over Thanksgiving, 
Fish wasn't able to walk and we had to take him to the emergency vet. He ended up having back surgery and we had to cancel our trip. So we are two days out from our trip to Italy and now it's chips that has something going on. So yeah, I um, went to Boots yesterday, which is kind of like a Walgreens or a CVS if you're in the States, and I got some new um, self-tanner. I usually do Saint-Tropez, but um, let's see. The last time I bought some, I tried Bondi Sands. I think they have this in the States. Um, anyway, it was fine, but I thought I would try something different. This is called Filter by Molly May. I don't know if you know who Molly May is. I'm sure a lot of you do, um, but she was on Love Island. Um, it's like a huge reality show in the UK. And so yeah, I thought I would try her self tanner. It is the dark shade. I did get the extra dark because I would really love to be <laughs> way tanner than I am now, but I figure because I am literally so, so pale that going extra dark might be a little bit too drastic of a change. So I'm gonna apply this. Um, I'm going to put something darker on. I've got this like chocolate brown ribbed set from Abercrombie that I pop on when I do self tanner and I'm gonna get in my closet and get some things done before my appointment. So yeah, let's apply this and then get into my closet. This is a very weird and different spot that I've never had you guys in before, but you're on top of my jewelry box. Hope you can see me okay. Um, okay, so I just finished applying the self tanner. As you saw in that very first clip, it almost came out like green as it was being applied to my skin, which honestly really grossed me out <laughs> because I was like, what is this made of? But yeah, this needs about four to 10 hours to um, set. It said also to reapply after one hour for um, the deepest tan. So just before my appointment, I think I'm going to do that. If you have never bought one of these before, I highly recommend it. It is one of these like long tanning mitts and it helps you just kind of apply tanner to your back. John's usually around so he can help me, but sometimes I just want to like get on with it and not wait for him to finish up whatever he's doing. And this guy is incredible. So if you have never bought one of these and you're always struggling to reach your back when you're doing self tanning, this guy will be your best friend. So I'll leave a little one of those linked down below. All right, time to get into my closet. I'm gonna pull in the suitcases that I pulled out of storage. I'm gonna start hanging up my spring and summer dresses. So I emptied one suitcase full of dresses so far and I was able to, um, not as neatly as I normally do, fold away all of my sweater dresses and beanies. Clearly I have a very distinct color palette that I very much lean, <laughs> lean towards. Um, I put all my gloves in here as well. I actually did have to wear a beanie this morning, it was so cold. The UK is getting it together slowly with the sunshine. We've had lots of sunshine lately, thank goodness. But the temps, we still need to work on the temps. Um, anyways, here is the dress section so far. It's not done. I have to um, hop on my call here in the next few minutes. I'm gonna see if I can quickly apply one um, more coat of the tanning, but let's quickly take a look at where my dresses are. You guys. I feel like I am the most me in a dress. A beautiful flowy dress, nothing too form-fitting. And yeah, all of these colors are just so dreamy. 
I do like this color, but I feel like it's definitely more these kind of shades these days. Um, but yeah, love all of these. This beautiful Zimmerman dress from last year. Didn't get as much wear as it should have, so I'm going to wear this a lot more this year. But yes, this is a dress from a few years ago that I just love. I'm obsessed with the colors. This is a dress I've had for a long time. I love it for winter weddings. I wore this dress so much last year. Just beautiful and tiered and princess-like. It is needle and thread. I love my dress collection. As you can see, I had a lot of fun <laughs> dancing around. Um, one of my coaches over the last couple of years has told me that I tend to like hold on to like tense energy and I need to let myself move more whether that's getting out in nature and going on walks or just dancing around some of the best ways to like get in better alignment with yourself and your soul is to just move and so i've been trying to embrace that especially on days where i just feel really good and the sun is out and yeah feels weird kind of getting on this call with this doctor talking about my struggles as of the last couple of years because today i actually feel really good um, but anyway, it will be good to speak with her and see what she says. But anyways, I will check back with you guys later today. just finished my appointment and oh my gosh that was just awesome <laughs> I was just so incredibly validating not that I don't have anybody in my life who has validated my feelings but to have like a medical doctor be like yeah yeah you're struggling with depression and i've really fought that idea for so long because i know in my heart of hearts that i am a capable person that i can get through anything i can do it <laughs> that like i am the one who can get myself through it and after two years it's quite humbling to kind of be like, all right, actually, this is stronger than me, <laughs> stronger than the will that I know I have inside me. And um, but yeah, it's quite um, humbling to know that you're, you've been trying to battle something that, you know, can be so much stronger than you. I feel like I'm a very strong-willed, capable person and I think that's why for so long I kind of resisted this idea that I might be depressed and that I would get through it or you know all of this that I've been feeling is just circumstantial but really that's not always the case and so I feel a bit odd talking about this so openly and sharing um as 
as, as I've gotten the diagnosis, but I also just feel a little bit like I wish I had been seen sooner or gotten help sooner. So I am going to include it so that if in the future you ever feel like you can't access that light within you and share that in the way that you normally do, or you lack the drive to pursue the thing that you're mostly passionate about, that's a sign. You know, it might not be the most severe case, but it's still a case. Um, so yeah, I think that postpartum is often talked about as like a period of time. And like after that period of time, you're like, you're in the clear. And that is not the case. Women struggle after they have their children and after they are outside of the confines of that period of time. And so, yeah, listen to how you're feeling and and allow yourself to accept that there might be something going on um, that you need to talk to somebody about. So everyone has different comfort levels when it comes to treatment you know, with depression. I've already done therapy, I've done Reiki, I've done energy healing, I've done lots of things to help me work through this. So I personally will be um, opting to try a medication um, and we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I think that John's off of the call that he was on. So I'm gonna go talk to him about how the call went. Um, if I do have any time after that, I'm going to work on getting more things unpacked in my closet but if not then we're gonna go take chips to the vet and I'll catch you guys in a little bit all right chips let's go get you looked at little baby oh. you want to come out come on come on Few hours since we got back from Chips's vet appointment. Um, the vet that we saw couldn't really find anything obvious that is causing Chips's pain. So I'm not really sure what what is going on with him, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that it's just something that needs to heal that we can't see that's like in like the tissue underneath his chin or something. Maybe he knocked his chin or I, I have really like literally no idea, but you know, he's acting normal otherwise, like going to the bathroom and eating and like he wants to go for walks and all of that. So yeah, we are going to give him some anti-inflammatory medication over the next few days and see how he does. Um, we're dropping them off at um, their dog sitters tomorrow because we leave to go out of town on Thursday. So I'm hoping that he's okay. Um, but yeah, I got home, had some leftovers. We have this like really yummy pasta that John made the other night. So I had that leftover, which was so yummy. And then had tons of laundry that I just needed to plow through. So I put on a really fun playlist that I've been listening to all day, actually. I will link it down below. I'm not sure if anybody's interested in my music taste, but I have some incredible, super fun, just dance-worthy songs on this playlist, and they've just put me in such a great mood today. And then I actually came across this um, YouTube clip from the James Corden, well, The Late Late Show with James Corden, I am so far behind on like happenings in the States a lot of times and I find out about things like so far after they've happened but I never realized that he was leaving the Late Late Show and that he was moving back to the UK. Um, so anyway, Adele did the last carpool karaoke with him and if you have not seen this clip, and I'm sure you have if you're in the States, so I'm sure it's been circulating everywhere, but oh my gosh, it is so good. I did not realize that they were such good friends. and. I was like crying, <laughs> like they just have what seems like such a, 
a real and genuine friendship and um, I think as a fellow expat but just in the reverse like I can imagine that you know being away from the UK and I obviously googled why he's leaving the Late Late Show and you know from what he's shared it's because him and his wife want to you know for their kids to experience life in the UK being that they've kind of been raised in the US and I got like so emotional about it because there are so many challenges that people don't really realize um, that you come up against living in a country that you love but it's not where you're from and so I can I could just really empathize with just like how he feels like so like you know adoringly tied to the US and would love to stay but also feels feels pulled to maybe bring his family to somewhere that he also obviously loves because that's where he's from and anyway I was just uh, I don't know I just had like a little like oh uh, like cry over it but it was also just really beautiful to see their friendship and she shared some like really honest um, stories about like things that they've gone through together and stuff so anyways all that to say if you haven't seen it be sure to check it out I'll link it below um, but anyways I need to crack on with getting the wardrobe switchover completed I'm almost done I think um, but I thought I would just quickly share um, what I put on my body after I took a shower. I got all of the tanning mousse off and I think I had it on from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So 5 hours of processing time. I, I might see how I feel about it tomorrow morning and then reapply. But after I got out of the shower, I um, applied the Lux Unfiltered um, Tanning Lotion that they have. It is so great. It's so hydrating. Um, it's not one of those um, lotions that you have to like really rub down and into your skin. It just applies so well and it's just lovely. It gives you a really, really nice, very subtle glow. So I wanted to just kind of add this on top. And then for my face, which is why I'm still very much fresh faced, um, I applied this Elemis Superfood Midnight Facial. I'm not sure if it says Midnight Facial on there or if it's in French. Oh, Midnight Facial. But anyways, um, it is ultra hydrating. I'm really, really liking this. If you, um, I have recommended the Tatcha Dewy Day Cream before. It's really expensive, but it's so hydrating. If you're looking for a good alternative at like a bit of a lower price point, I wouldn't say Elemis is like in the af super affordable range, but it's a little bit more doable. Um, I would say it's a little bit more of the, like a premium brand. Um, then I would recommend this if you're looking for an ultra hydrating moisturizer and then I'm trying out the Vita Liberata facial serum um, to just see how um, how this develops in giving me a little bit of a glow on my face. I have tried Vita Liberata before like their tanning like makeup lotion and I did not like it. I feel like so many people rave about it and I just it gets all over your clothes and I just cannot stand that. It makes your legs and your arms and everything look amazing. It does do a really good job of kind of doing what it says it's going to do, but it gets everywhere. At least the formula that I tried back in like 2017. But yeah, so I'm interested to see if I like these tanning drops. I have the tanning drops by Lux Unfiltered and they are amazing if you want something that I do like love and have tried before. So if you want something vetted, I'll link that down below as well. Also, if you are curious about where this dress is from, I will link it down below. It's by Free People. I'm gonna link two versions. I'm gonna link obviously this exact version, but I'm also going to link like basically this identical dress, but it comes in way more color options. I think the material is a little bit thinner, um, and I think that's why it's on a different product page, but it's basically the same silhouette, basically the same dress, same length, everything. Um, and I have that one in a hunter green and like a sage green. So I will link those down below if you are looking for just some really easy dresses to wear on vacation or around the house. These dresses for me are so perfect because I can wear something like just really free and flowy and a dress, which I love to wear this time of year, but it's still quite chilly. So the long sleeves really save me. So anyways, I'm going to crack on with my wardrobe. Fingers crossed we can get this done in the next hour. That is my goal um, so that I can sit down, get all of these clips organized and sent off to my lovely video editor, Janelle, and also get back to some emails. Um, so yeah, let's do it.
I just <laughs> finished hanging up all of my dresses and the rest of what was in the last suitcase that I had pulled out of storage. There were three total um, and it contained a good bulk of my white dresses, which is like obviously the largest section of my um, color options when it comes to dresses. It basically takes up about half, like the white and beige and light pink options basically take up half. Um, but anyways, I <laughs> literally just loved and enjoyed rediscovering and falling in love all over again with all of these dresses, specifically the ones in this last suitcase, the white ones. There's just so many beautiful details that I just, oh, I just love so, so much. Um, whether it's the like overall silhouette or like the little details or the fabric that was chosen. I mean, they probably all need a very good steam and Lord knows I do not have time to do that, but um, I do just feel like dresses out of any other garment are like what, this sounds so, this might sound very weird, but I feel like they are the garment that like matches like me at my core, like on a soul level. I almost feel like I'm like hanging myself back up in my closet ready to be displayed and showcased day in and day out. Not that I'm not myself or not that I'm not dressing like me in the fall and the winter, but I just feel like it's harder to embrace a very feminine style during the fall and winter months. And I think that's why I've been very intentional ever since probably about 2020 when we just we were locked up so much and I just got so tired of how dark my fall and winter wardrobe was. Not that it was like I was wearing black all the time because I've never really been like super big on like all black or anything, but I was like, I am so tired of always wearing black leggings. Like, so I've just really been so intentional about creating a um, more elevated and chic fall and winter wardrobe that does match up with what I feel is the embodiment of me. Um, but I just feel as somebody, you know, I'm studying astrology, as somebody who has a lot of Pisces placements, very ethereal, um, really into just feeling free flowing, um, dresses are just what make me so happy. So yeah, overall just very happy to see these back in my closet and be on the brink of the season where I will be opting for them day in and day out. So anyways, I need to um, get on with the rest of the stuff that I have to do today before I need to go and get Louie, um, which is um, finish putting all of the donations in the last bag. There are four bags of donations to go to Relight. So again, the link to my profile is down below. I need to pack up the rest of my coats into this last suitcase, and then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need one other empty suitcase upstairs that we have um, available for storage. Um, and then put those away. And then, yeah, I will be going to get Louis. So I'm going to bid you farewell for the day and I will see you guys tomorrow. I did receive a shop up order on my doorstep today as I was coming in from the vet with chips. Um, but I haven't obviously had time to unpack that with you guys, but these are items that I purchased during the shop up sale last week. Um, so I am really excited to unbox that with you guys tomorrow. I do have a hair appointment tomorrow. I probably won't take you guys on everything that I get up to tomorrow because I think this vlog is getting quite long, but I do think that that would be fun to showcase some of the things that I got from ShopBot because I really love what I picked out from the sale. So I will see you guys in the morning. Hi guys, it is now the next day. Can you guys see me okay? There's like a little, <laughs> there's like a little blotch on my lens. I think that's from Louie. I will have to properly clean that off with like a lens wipe in a little bit. Um, yesterday afternoon was so lovely. I really enjoyed me and Louie's walk home. He is so cute like pointing out. He can tell that there's like been changes to the trees and now that all of the little blossoms are popping up on them throughout our walk and it's just so cute and I just love this time of year. It hasn't really started to warm up 
the way that I would like for it to. It's still quite chilly. Um, I'm wearing a um, like really nice flowy dress today with a cardigan. Um, and I walked Louie over and I was like, oh gosh, I still definitely need like a puffer jacket it feels like. So anyway, I'm a little annoyed about that, but really grateful for all the sunshine we've been having. Um, today is a really busy day. It is about 9.30. Um, and I have done a couple of things that need to be done. I packaged up a package that I need to send off when I go into town later. Um, got the last load of laundry on. Thankfully, it's just Louis. <laughs> it's just gonna be really quick and easy to kind of get done. Um, I feel like laundry here takes forever. Um, and then, yeah, I need to pack myself. I need to pack Louis. And I have a hair appointment at 12.30. We need to drop off fish and chips. Before that, it's actually, I feel like <laughs> our dog sitter is actually in South Africa right now, but she gets back tomorrow. So her dog sitter, cause she has a couple of dogs, is watching our dogs until she gets back tomorrow. I'm like, okay. So I have to like kind of orient her to fish and chips and I'm hoping that it's not too chaotic for her, but it was so kind of her to be flexible and, and you know, help us out. But anyway, so yeah, I got to do that. And then I was really wanting to, um, share this shop up order with you guys that I got yesterday. Very excited about this. Um, really excited about the rest of the things that I ordered as well, but those haven't shipped yet. Um, shipping takes a little bit longer because we are over on the other side of the pond, but really just, you know, Love that I can still shop at Shop Up. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got, and then later I need to do tons of computer admin. So I don't think that I'm gonna really take you guys along throughout the entire day, just because it's gonna be so hectic, and also I think that this vlog is getting quite long. So why don't we go ahead and get into what I got from Shop Up. I just cleaned off the lens, so we should be all good. Um, but I quickly wanted to remind you guys about my re-liked profile. I have all of these bags. I'm gonna, I can't believe I'm about to show you this room because it's quite wild. This is all of what I have pulled to sell on Reliked and there's tons of good stuff in here. Like there's a pair of like Ralph Lauren boots. Um, I think there's a pair of Steve Madden boots that literally I wore once. They're just a little bit too tight on me. So I don't know, just so many things that are so beautiful and gently worn. There's Abercrombie dresses that I didn't wear a ton. Um, there's a Zimmerman dress in there. And yeah, just lots of great stuff. If you're looking for high quality items, many of which have been worn like once, a few things have tags on them, so a lot of them are brand new as well, then definitely take a look at my profile um, linked down below. Those are gonna be picked up today, so I wanted to make sure I reminded you about that. Okay, shop up. All right, first up we have this really pretty button down tie waist short sleeve midi length dress it is made of cotton and it has like kind of a crepey feel to it really really soft really lightweight um, and great for honestly like running errands picnics getaways I just feel like it's a really you could even wear this as a cover-up it's just a really beautiful elevated casual dress in my opinion. I think it just looks really, really nice if you're hosting but want to wear something, you know, put together but also comfortable, this would be a really great option. Um, it runs true to size and I love that it has sleeves. That's something that I feel like my dress collection lacks a little bit. Coming from Florida, I always am just drawn to dresses that allow my arms to breathe. But here, because there's such a slow lead up to summer, I find that I need dresses that have sleeves so that I'm not <laughs> freezing or always needing to rely so heavily on a cardigan. So yeah, I really love this dress option. And like everything else, it is linked down below. It also has pockets, always a plus. All right, next up is this really cute option. It has some really pretty details here. It's got the pin tucking here on the top half along with um, the buttons down along the middle of the chest, short sleeves, and then this one hits just above the knee. It is lined. It feels very, very soft. I did not check the uh, material, but it does feel like cotton, so very well could be, but double check the product page. Um, and then yeah, it does have pockets as well. Just a really nice 
really loose fitting, just comfortable throw on um, for, you know, popping out or going to a nice dinner outside. Could be really cute with some pretty sandals or some wedges. So this one is also linked down below and runs true to size. All right, this next one is a bit of a wild card. I was a bit unsure about it at first, but I actually quite like it. I think the two things that I was unsure of is one, the strapless situation. I'm not against a strapless, a, sh <laughs> a strapless situation at all. But it's just been so long since I feel like I've rocked a dress like this. I have a couple of dresses from H&M that are very much like this and they have really um, thin spaghetti straps that you can remove. And so I, I rocked those quite a few times like last summer when it was like boiling. Um, but I got rid of so many of my like strapless dresses years ago. I feel like strapless dresses were so big back in like the 2010s. Um, and then I just feel like for a while they just weren't really a big thing or else maybe it was just me I just wasn't into them. I don't know But we would love to go to Portugal this year and I was like, you know what? Having some good strapless options to just throw over my bathing suit or just to wear out would be so nice I like the little ruffle detail here. I like that this section isn't too long That's one of my pet peeves with dresses like this. I'm I'm a very petite person. I don't have a lot of curves, which has always been something that I wish I had. Um, and so when this is too long, I almost, it almost accentuates that I look like a little string bean. So um, I like that, that this is where it is. And then I love the little tear detail at the bottom. It's one of my favorite details for a dress. So, so many nice details. The only thing is it doesn't have pockets. I've talked about this dress for almost three minutes now. So let's move on. All right, next up is this gorgeous, multi-tiered, large and in-charge beach cover-up in this beautiful hot pink color. Sometimes I'm like not a huge fan of hot pink and then other times I'm like, I like that. <laughs> and this is one of those ones that caught my attention. I really, really like this brand. Makes some really beautiful beach cover-ups, but I will say it's they're wildly overpriced. They're lovely and I'm, I'm happy to make an investment if I'm getting it on sale, but wow. It's just ridiculously priced, so I do apologize for that. If I can find something similar at a nicer price point, I will also link it down below for you guys. I also love that this one has pockets, and yeah. You're definitely gonna make a statement by the pool or at the beach in this number. So if you are going on a beautiful and lovely vacation or live by the beach, definitely consider this gal. She's cute. All right, dresses are done. Now I have denim to share. I've got three pairs of jeans and two bags. That would be great for vacation or summer season if you really like straw bags. I've got two really good ones to share. Um, I feel like I look so washed out. <laughs> I feel like the camera makes it seem like that tanning mousse did me absolutely no favors, but I promise it did develop and it did turn out quite nice. See, there you go. You can kind of tell what it looks like in person without the light from the windows coming in so strong. So <laughs> the camera adjusts and kind of brightens me up a bit. So sorry about that. But anyways, okay, so this is the first pair of jeans. I, to be honest, don't love them. I feel like I'm too short for some of the new denim styles. I just don't feel like this is actually what they should look like. I feel like if I was maybe five inches taller and that bottom bit hit a, a little bit above the ankle, these would be lovely. They fit nice, um, but they are definitely not going to be kept. I recently, did I get rid of, I think I got rid of my white skinny jeans, which if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with my white skinnies, but they're getting too small. And I just felt like I needed a pair that were more high-waisted and felt just as nice and fit nicely. So I need a new pair of white skinnies, but I saw these and I was like, oh, let me try a new denim style and see if these are nice. But and they are, but they're just not for me. So I will link these down below if these look like something that you would love to style and sport because they are quite soft and really good quality denim. So yeah, 
they run true to size. The next pair of jeans uh, don't fit. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, yeah, they're too small. I can't, I can't button these down here. I could probably squeeze this button closed, but yeah. To be honest, again, like I've been trying to see if maybe I've been really close-minded about some of these new denim silhouettes. Um, I just, I think I like like the culotte style um, and I like skinny jeans. <laughs> I don't really like the boot cut trend that's going on and I don't really like the big wide leg either, um, but I was like, you know what, maybe these are gonna fit um, nicely and kind of come up to like about right here which I think would be so nice, especially with like a pair of heels or something. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of this silhouette? Obviously they, they don't fit, but yeah. I would love to know what you guys think about the new denim styles. Um, so this is Reformation. I honestly love the feel of these. Um, they do feel really nice. And to be really honest with you, I don't really want to mention anything about sizing because I don't know if maybe, <laughs> I mean, I'm growing out, I grew out of that, you know, pair of white skinnies that I had, um, and then these don't fit, which are my normal size, so I don't know if these run really small or if I'm just getting bigger, um, which is fine. I've always wanted more in my hips, so um, so yeah, I am not going to comment on like how they run because it's, it's hard for me to tell, um, but I will link these down below if you want to check them out for yourself. You guys, I inadvertently saved the best for last. I saw these and I was like, okay, Haley, those are quite, those are quite a statement. I, I didn't know how I was going to feel about them, but I love the brand. I've always had um, pairs of jeans from this brand and they are always really soft and um, they always last a long time. So I knew I was going to get a good quality pair if these worked out. Um, so here we go. I also love the wash of these so much. The silhouette, like I was saying, is quite a statement. They're quite wide, <laughs> but you know what I like about them? They are quite tailored here in the hips. They are not like hanging off of my hips like a lot of the wide leg denim jeans that you're seeing coming out. They're not like 90s grunge wide leg. I feel like these look very tailored, very beautiful, and you know what too? I like flare jeans, like the skinny jeans and then they flare at the bottom, but I don't feel like those look really good on me like I used to wear them a ton in high school <laughs> but like having tried on a few pairs now I'm like I just don't know that those are like the best style for me but I actually think this wide leg kind of flare denim silhouette suits me better like if I had a nice pair of heels on yes like a nice belt something like that I don't know they're super soft as well. Like, I could sleep in these. I don't, I've never really been able to understand fully how people can say that jeans are uncomfortable. You clearly haven't tried many on. Like, yes, some can be quite stiff, but there are so many denim brands and options that are so soft and so comfortable. So anyways, always been a jean girl, always will be, and I love this option. So I will link this down below. Um, Let's move quickly over to accessories. I got two straw bags with this order. Oh, by the way, this top is a recent purchase from Abercrombie, so I will link that down below as well. I'm not sure if it's still available, um, but I will link it. Okay, so I got this straw bag because I just thought it was really cute. The only issue with these straw bags um, and our travels this year, <laughs> Not that I'm only gonna wear these on my travels, but let's be real. <laughs> in my day-to-day -day life, I'm usually running after Louis or we're going into town and often I don't even have a bag with me. I have my phone and my wallet in like, you know, the stroller. So anyways, but these will be fun to dress up with um, for date nights. Um, so yeah, I love this one so much. I love the little wooden bamboo handle and how this offers a bit of privacy as well. Um, this one is by L Space, which I always have a great experience with. They always have so many cute styles. Um, so yeah, they have a little uh, magnetic clasp here. 
um, as a closure. I think this is just really elegant and beautiful. So I think this one of the two is my favorite. So yeah, really, really nice. Will I be able to enjoy wearing these while we're in Italy? We'll see. <laughs> but I'm really excited to style these while we are away. And I think that, no, I have one more thing. Um, I do have a bathing suit, but I'm not gonna try that on with you guys. Okay, so this is the last thing that I got. I have never bought anything from Stony Clover before, but I always think their things are so cute. Actually, that's not true. I did, I did purchase a couple of things um, for uh, my former assistant that used to work with me. Um, I bought her a couple of things from Stony Clover and she loved it, thought the quality was great. So I saw this in the sale and I was like, you know what? I love a pouch, like more than I probably should. I, I don't actually <laughs> need this guy. I've got so many pouches, but they are one of the things. To, let me know in the comments below, like what are the things that you can buy that like you just, you know you don't need another one, but like you just can't help yourself. We all have those things. Pouches are one of those things for me. White dresses, another thing. But anyways, okay, so this one is just really cute. I thought this was a really fun um, travel bag. So yeah, gonna stuff it full of all of our travel essentials and toiletries and things. And that does it for the shop up haul, guys. All right, it is time to bid you farewell. This has been a really fun vlog, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do have one last thing to share with you guys, and that is this dress. This just came in the mail, so I figured why not just quickly um, share this before I go. It's just a really pretty maxi dress, nice tear down here. It is white and pink stripes with this nice halter neck some ruffle details here along the, well, not sleeves, but you know, armholes. I haven't tied it at the back, but it ties there at the top of the back of your neck. And yeah, it's, um, I think maybe a teeny bit big on me, but not too big to the point where I'm like, it looks ridiculous. So I really like this. Recently purchased this and it took forever to come in, to be honest, so I'll link it down below for you guys. I would go with your normal size or size down if you think that this might be too much. But yeah, it is time for me to go quickly write that little letter for the dog sitter, get all of my things that I need for my hair appointment and then running a couple of errands in town. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming and joining me for this vlog. Be sure to follow for more videos and be sure to turn on the notification bell if you want to know when new videos go live. I hope to bring the vlogging camera along with us to Italy. However, a Italy vlog might not happen <laughs> because Louis is two and it's just, it might be a little bit too wild. So I will try to capture, you know, what we kind of do and get into. Probably won't be doing tons of talking, but I might just do like a little outfit diaries um, type of vlog for um, you guys to enjoy. So I'll see what I can do, uh, but otherwise I will see you guys in the next one.